Believe me when I tell you, if your faith is only as big as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will be moved. You will be able to do anything. Matthew 17:20b. Good morning, my boys and girls. Today we have language arts. We are going to work pages 38, 39, and 40. We are going to use letters and sounds book. Let's begin. Let's start with exercise 2. Answer the riddles. Please listen and repeat. To fiddle with a pen is to scribble. To fiddle with a pen is to scribble. Two. Steam makes a kettle rattle. Steam makes a kettle rattle. Repeat, please. 3. A clown can juggle. A clown can juggle. Very well done. 4. Listen and repeat. Silly girls like to giggle. Silly girls like to giggle. A pancake on the griddle had a bubble in the middle. A pancake on the griddle had a bubble in the middle. Six. A small smooth stone is a pebble. A small, smooth stone is a pebble. Exercise 3. Circle the special sounds. Listen and repeat. Griddle. Griddle. Brittle. Brittle. Battle. Battle Waddle Waddle Waffle Waffle Straddle Straddle Snaggle Snaggle Shadow Shadow. Very well done. The past tense of verbs in English with the ed ending are pronounced in three different ways: t, d, or id. You may have noticed that in English, past tense verbs with an ed ending are pronounced in three different ways: t, d, or id. For example, if I say the past tense verb walked, as in, I walked away, what is the last sound that you hear in the verb? Walked. The ed verb ending sounds like a t, walked, even though it ends in the letter d. What do you hear when I say smelled, as in, it smelled bad? The ed verb ending sounds like a d smelled. And when I say visited, as in I visited New York City, how did I pronounce that ed ending? Visited. The ed verb ending sounds like id, visited. This lesson teaches you the three rules that explain the differences in past tense verb ed pronunciation. 
But don't be surprised if most Americans can't explain these rules to you. The truth is, Americans make these changes in sound without even noticing. Intro. Why the sound changes. Place your fingertips on the front of your neck and pronounce the following words. What do you feel on your fingers when you say the underlying sound? Vow. Fake. Zebra. Snake. When we pronounce voiced sounds, our vocal cords vibrate when we say those sounds. Did you feel the vibration? When we pronounce voiceless sounds, our vocal cords do not vibrate. No vibration. This vibration or lack of vibration then carries forward to the following sound in the word. Therefore, this vibration or lack of vibration explains why we pronounce the past tense of verbs in three voiced or voiceless ways. T, D, or Id. T, final sound. Verbs ending in voiceless sounds, P, K, th, f, s, sh, ch, cause the ED ending to be pronounced as the voiceless T with no vocal cord vibration. Listen and repeat. He popped a balloon. Popped. They talked a lot. Talked. She frothed a cup of milk. Frothed. I laughed at the movie. Laughed. She kissed a frog. Kissed. We brushed it off. Brushed. I reached around for it. Reached. D, final sound. Verbs ending in the voiced b, g, v, v, z, z, j, m, n, ng, r, l, cause the ed ending to be pronounced as a voiced d. Listen and repeat. It bobbed up and down. Bobbed. He begged her to stay. Begged. She breathed loudly. Breathed. They loved it. Loved. We raised her expectations. Raised. They bridged the gap. Bridged. I claimed it was mine. Claimed. They banned new members. Banned. She banged into the chair. Banged. He cleared it up. Cleared. I rolled up the paper. Rolled. Ud or id, final sound. Verbs ending in the sounds t or d will cause the ed ending of a verb to be pronounced as the syllable ud or id. Listen and repeat. I visited the Empire State Building. Visited. She edited the research paper. Edited. We ended the game early. Ended. 
He breaded the chicken. Breaded. Page thirty-nine. Exercise one. Match each word to the correct sound of "ed." Underline the root words. Circle the suffixes. Look at the words below. Here we have words and ending sounds. The ending sounds t, d, ed, or ed. Exercise two. Mark the words with t, like in looked. Look at the words here. What words have the ending sound t, like in looked? Let's see. Reached. Knocked. Jumped. And crashed. Listen and repeat. Reached. Knocked. Jumped. Crashed. Very well done. Exercise three. Mark the word that does not belong. Listen and repeat. Stayed. Banged. Banged. Called. Crooked. What word does not belong? Excellent. Crooked. T crooked. Exercise four. Finish the sentences. We are going to use these words to finish the sentences. Exercise one. Listen and repeat. Mom packed my lunch. Packed. Two. Mrs. Smith honked for me to come. One more time. Mrs. Smith honked for me to come. Honked. Three. I waved goodbye to my mom. I waved goodbye to my mom. Waved. Four. The pilot greeted me as I got on the plane. The pilot greeted me as I got on the plane. Greet it. Five. A lady handed me some peanuts. A lady handed me some peanuts. Hand it. Six. As the plane took off, I looked at the clouds. As the plane took off, I looked at the clouds. Looked. Very well done. Page forty. Exercise one. Circle the words that rhyme with catch. Mark the vowels. Look at the words here. Listen and repeat. Match. Hitch. Patch. Dutch. Batch. Ditch. 
What words rhyme with catch? Let's see the answers. Listen and repeat. Catch. Match. Patch. Batch. Very well done. The words that rhyme with catch are match, patch, batch. That's all for today. See you next Monday. Bye-bye.